Hey there, Jackie here, and today I'm going to talk to you about this nice uh, fretboard that I've made. And uh, it's a special development of mine. This wood here uh, that you can see is actually not a solid wood, and it's a veneer. It's a veneer like this. The veneer is called Sono Veneer, and it's related to Sono Wood. And if you've uh, Follow my channel. I've uh, used like uh, some wood for a while now, and uh, they sent me this veneer. And um, when I was uh, visiting them last year, uh, they they showed me what what kind of different materials they got. And uh, of course, they got like the solid material, and they got this this veneer. And yeah, it's it's like really interesting stuff because. Um, this was like a normal, normal uh, Berkshire maple veneer. Uh, this one I actually sent them, and um, yeah, they they compressed it so it's it's uh, least than half half the thickness, and yeah, it gets like super super dense and super hard. So it's it's like scratch resistant. It kind of feels more like yeah, some sort of plastic or something. So it's it's um, like really nice because it uh, also has like no pores and the surface is like super hard and super super um, yeah scratch resistant and also like resistant against moisture or chemicals because they kind of glue together with fibers and yeah that's what you want for a fretboard so you want a material that's like super hard scratch resistant um, it doesn't like change color like the, the dirt gets, doesn't um, go into it and of that. So, um, so on this guitar, for example, I have used a um, solid piece of, of solid wood. So it's a nice, nice um, curly maple uh, solid wood uh, fretboard. But um, the reason I wanted to try out the um, the solid veneer version is because um, it's it's quite heavy. So so the neck. Um, a big part of the neck is like the fretboard, and um, if if it's like from from Sonovinia, um, Sonovinia has a bigger density than ebony. Yeah, it it could could maybe cause a problem that your guitar is a little head heavy, and um, that's why I wanted to kind of um, try out a, a different angle on the problem. And as you might see. Um, the fretboard itself actually is made out of spruce. So uh, yeah, you, you probably never have seen a guitar with a spruce uh, fretboard, and that's because uh, of course spruce is much much um, softer than than it's it's not a hardwood, it's softwood, so uh, it's not suited for for a fretboard because it would kind of uh, use up quite quite fast and get dirty, and it's, it's very light and. Uh, yeah, so um, by using these, um, this veneer, I can uh, yeah, take advantage of, of the bo both properties. So I got like the hardness and denseness and durability of the, um, of the sono, sono wood or sono veneer. And I get the weight of the spruce and also maybe the, the sound of the spruce. So spruce is like really, really nice tone wood. It's really straight fibers and um, also will make it like a stable neck and it's it's relatively stiff compared to its weight or quite quite stiff compared to its weight that's why you use it for tops and yeah so uh, in the following I will uh, show you how I made this fretboard um, it's uh, quite straightforward um, if you make your fretboards your own, it's it's basically one more step, and yeah, I think it's it's like really really nice nice uh, way to um, change it up a little bit, and also maybe notice um, there are like different different stains, so uh, like different um, grades of. of uh, yeah, roasts, let's say, because I think they kind of um, roast the, um, the wood when they compress it. And 
and yeah, it's like like a uh, tall fight uh, uh, maple or something. It um, there's like different grades, so you can have like more like the golden one, or this one is uh, yeah, it's a little bit darker. And yeah, of course. So basically, you could use any type of um, veneer. So there is a um, curly maple veneer, and this is like a bird's eye maple. Yeah. So um, if you are for, like from overseas and uh, can't get like the uh, sono veneer uh, quite easily, uh, you could use maybe some some different different hardwood veneers and um, kind of. Uh, try it out if it works for you but uh, yeah if you want to see uh, how it works um, just keep watching <laughs> I've made uh, some some videos uh, how I did it and yeah check it out okay so as a base for this fretboard I'm gonna use uh, a very unusual wood and that's spruce it's like quarter zone and uh, should be great for a fretboard it's also quite quite hard for for spruce but I'm gonna use it as a base and I outlined what I need basically just need a slice of it and yeah let's cut it out Okay, here's a little trick to cut the board to the um, right angle and that's, I'm gonna turn around my template and now these lines are parallel and I need some tape. my uh, table saw to cut the exact um, angle. And I also uh, leave it a little bit bigger than I need later. So leave some excess here and here. And later on, I'm gonna um, um, put on some binding, so uh, I will have to cut off uh, maybe two or three millimeters on each side, but uh, I will leave it on uh, for now. All right, so here is my radius cutting chick, and as you can see, there's the table, there's my fretboard, and I can rotate it, and it rotates around uh, two different bearings, so the distance here is uh, smaller than here and what it gives me is a uh, 12 to roughly 16 inches uh, compound frag radius and I think a compound uh, frag board is uh, superior in any way and um, yeah that's that's why I'm doing it like that and I'm gonna use my router to run it back and forth and this jig is quite quite big and uh, basically you could um, have it like half the size but I like it that high and so the way I use it is I uh, put it in the position that I want so I start out with that maybe and I put on my foot here so I kind of hold it with my foot and then I run the router back and forth and then I change a little bit, hold it with my foot, run it back and forth.
play now the uh, radius is on there and it's not uh, perfect because um, yeah I uh, didn't take too many uh, passes but um, yeah the rest I can easily send out Okay, now I got the uh, fretboard here, and it's got its radius, and here is the uh, Sono veneer. So that's the veneer I'm gonna use, and I tape the outline, so when I uh, cut it, it doesn't, uh, yeah, kind of tear. It's it's quite, it doesn't tear that easily, so it's 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 a little bit better than uh, normal veneer. In that regard, <coughs> but uh, still, uh, good thing to put some tape on it. Okay, and as you can see, it's got like a little bit of bright line here. Put some tape on here and cut it off and also, yeah, protect the surface uh, from the glue I'm gonna put on uh, later on. Okay, now I'm gonna use this uh, tape bond glue. Put it in the back. Put this cloth over it. Got full pressure. Okay, let's do. Okay, so before I can um, glue on these uh, bindings, I will have to cut in the slots, the fret slots, and for that I'm going to remove the tape.
Okay, before I can glue on the uh, bindings, I slightly break the edge here. So, whenever in the future you might uh, have to replace threads, uh, it doesn't pull out the uh, veneer on the top. It's not only with the veneer, I do it every time. So, um, yeah, these hooks. They tend to, to, to rip out some fibers sometimes when you want to replace a thread. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm using this triangular file and slightly break the angle. Okay, so to apply the uh, binding strips, I'm applying some glue on the strip and want to make sure there is not too much on it so it doesn't squeeze out into these uh, fret slots too much or else I will have some trouble putting in the frets later Okay, now I fix it with the tape and yeah, I will have some overhang and I'll need to uh, sand it off later. Also, I'm having some overhang on the, on the back, but yeah, no way around that. And now I'm going to use these rubber bands to apply the pressure. So I'm standing on the band and now I can just turn this like that. Okay, so here's the fretboard and now I'll need to remove the overhang. First I'm going to use the bolt sander to get this side flat and then tape it on a uh, straight piece of aluminium and clean off the edges. Alright, so there we have it. That's the uh, Sono Winnie uh, fretboard with a uh, sprue space. And yeah, it's uh, super lightweight. And yeah, it's super, super dense, super hard surface. I think it looks awesome. It has like this little bit of a fade, so it gets lighter to the ends. And yeah. Because you made it to the end of the video, I will now put some oil on it and show you how that will work. As you can see, 
it's like really a mirror mirror like surface and it's like really super hard and super nice okay thanks for watching and yeah see you next time